Welcome back to another Python refactoring video here on the PyBytes YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about flat is better than nested. Um, so in the previous video, we spoke about the extract method refactoring and we made a long function shorter by breaking out various pieces into more functions. Uh, today I want to talk about nesting. So here in the process data example on the left, there's a lot of nesting going on up until three levels. And it, it looks just complex, cluttered, it's hard to follow. So we can actually refactor this um, and make it a lot cleaner, easier to read. So I've got my test on the right to, of course, have some tests to make sure I don't mess up anything. So we check the non-case, we check the empty dictionary case, which is basically this one. We check the less than 10 case and we check the greater than 10 case. So if we run that, that all passes. Okay, so how do we get rid of this nesting? So we can invert a lot of these uh, if statements um, and then early return, also called guard clauses. And that's basically when you bail out early, uh, early in the function. So we can invert this by saying, if data is none, and then we pull this else block up and then we can win an extra indentation back. And why this works is because um, here we have a negative that um, we can just bill out early. So if data is none, we print the message and we return. We're done with the function. Hence, um, yeah, we can then return at the main body, at the outer indentation. Um, so let's save that and see if it still works. That still works. And we can do two similar refactorings to also get rid of these two else's. So let's start with uh, the inverse of value in data. So is if value not in data, we move this else block up, that returns early, hence we can dedent the rest. So if value is not in data, we're not interested in anything else, we print a message and we return false, we're at this point done with the function. Uh, again, early return, guard close, or we, we bail out of the function early. Uh, this, so this already becomes way more readable, right? Like this is easy to follow. We can also use a bit of byte spacing here. And of course I need to run my test, it's still working. And uh, here we can do the same. So we can invert the conditional. So I need to be careful here because it's greater than 10, which means that starts 11. So I need to do less than or equal 10, then the value is too small. Can get rid of the else and it can dedent the outer true. I think it's a nice example of where we have much less nesting. Um, so it's way more, it's, it's flatter. And of course I'm referring to the Zen of Python where it says flat is better than nested. And yeah, this is more readable, right? It's uh, data is none, um, no data, Provide it, return false, boom, done. Value not in data, no value in data. Return false, done. Then we extract the value because at this point we know it's in the data. Um, and then we do the check. Um, and this, you know, you could debate, this could actually be an uh, if else statement. I mean, if you don't really care about the print as well, we could even do return this as a Boolean, right? So. And then it's even shorter. And then we might not even need that intermediate variable, right? So if data, the value key in the data dictionary is greater than 10, then it's true. If it's less than 10, by the way, one of these tests is misnamed because the 10 is now not accounted for. So if we have greater than 10, then this should be less than equal 10, including the 10. And we could even make another test to um, test that edge, edge case. So the test equal 10 would be if we give it exactly 10. Um, 10 is not greater than 10, so then it should be false. And now we have five passing tests, and this is now much 
more concise. And again, it all comes down like checking, doing your initial checks if the data is valid at the start and then bill out early and then we don't need that extra um, return. All right, that's it. I hope uh, this is helpful. Um, a short video on how to make your code less nested. It can definitely uh, clean up your code a lot, make it more readable, less complex, and therefore more maintainable. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe below to always get the latest PyBytes videos. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.